Welcome to the Peaceful Wellness Podcast with me, your host, Deb Phelps. If you are ready to unite with your true nature and find the calm you need to go through this journey called life, then walk a while with me as we learn to be resilient with mind, body, spirit modalities. I am a meditation teacher, mindfulness coach, sound healer, yoga specialist, and these and other modalities have helped me to truly find peaceful wellness within. So let's take a mindful approach together now. Welcome back, dear souls, as we draw to a close our Empowered Serenity series for this month. Today's reflection holds a deeper resonance. Let's embark on a journey to harmonize strength and serenity, unlocking the magic that happens when we weave them seamlessly into our beings. On today's show, I'll be sharing a personal story, an activity and journaling prompt for you, and closing with a guided meditation, as always. And be sure to get this week's workbook to go along with this episode at debphelps.com slash Facebook group, right there in the Facebook group, gives you an opportunity too to share with others. So friends, throughout my personal voyage, strength wasn't about echoing the loudest. It was about the quiet whisper of assurance, the silent power harnessed from inner peace to face the challenges of life. Strength is not mere physical might. It's an emotional, mental, and spiritual fortitude. It's standing tall amidst the storms with endurance and patience. And on the other hand, serenity is clarity amidst chaos, a profound depth of peace. And what you can do is you can imagine them as partners in a dance, each complementing, enhancing the other's movements. And in our journey to inner peace and empowerment, it's essential to understand the intricate dance between strength and serenity. They're not opposing forces. They often complement each other, as I said. Well, let me share a story here from my past and that truly embodies this understanding. Several years ago, when I was running my web design business, I worked with a client who was a Reiki master. And from the outside, one would expect her to emanate peace and understanding, considering the principles of Reiki. However, her professional relationship was anything but harmonious. She started displaying an aggressive attitude, expecting me to prioritize her requests immediately, uh, usually in all caps and emails, no matter whatever the circumstance was. And even when I offered solutions and suggestions, they were often dismissed or met with hostility. It's as if she wanted the work done, but without the necessary respect for my process or my time for that matter. The pinnacle of this challenge was when it came time for payment again. She was reluctant to compensate for the services rendered, despite the time and dedication I put into her project. Now, here's where the dance of balance came into play. Drawing from my reservoir of serenity, I approached her without anger or aggression, but firmly. Now, granted, I will tell you that I had a lot of thoughts go through my mind before I Regrounded myself, came back to center. But as I said, I approached her firmly. I communicated my boundaries and calmly let her know that if the payment wasn't settled, I'd have to involve my attorney. And to my relief, she paid up promptly after that, and I dropped her then as a client. What I took away from this experience was a valuable lesson. Serenity doesn't mean allowing oneself to be taken advantage of. It means understanding when to harness inner strength, set clear boundaries, and stand firm in one's truth, all the while maintaining inner peace. 
So even when situations become challenging, remember, there's an inherent strength in serenity. And by balancing the two, we can navigate our lives with grace, assertiveness, and most importantly, peace. So time for your journal now. So in your sacred space of reflection, that place in your journal, let's dive a little deeper into the relationship between strength and serenity. What I'd like you to do is sketch two large interlinked circles. Now label one as strength. And label the other as serenity. So they're interlinked together. Now in the strength circle, note down any moments where you showed determination, perseverance, or when you stood firm against challenges. Recall how those instances made you feel. Were there doubts? Was there a resolve? Within the serenity section, recollect times of deep calm. Maybe it was a spontaneous moment of peace on a hectic day or a prolonged period of tranquility during a vacation. In the overlap, the union of these two circles, reflect on occasions where strength and serenity coexisted. Perhaps it was a challenging moment where you remained calm and decisive, just like I shared earlier. And dive into those feelings. How did the marriage of these qualities influence your decisions or emotional state? And once you've filled out your circles, take a step back. What patterns emerge? Is one circle more populated than the other? This is not a judgment. This is an observation to understand and appreciate your own unique journey. And all of this, we have to remember that self-love is a journey itself. It's not a destination. And like any voyage, it has its peaks and valleys and twists and turns. Let's explore this a little bit more today. Understanding its significance and how to cultivate it daily. There's a saying that our relationship with ourselves sets the tone for every other relationship we have. Now think about that for a moment. How we value, respect, and treat ourselves directly reflects on how we value, respect, and treat others. But more crucially, it determines how we allow others to treat us. For many, the journey to self-love begins with confronting years, sometimes decades, of negative self-talk and societal conditioning. And these inner critics can be relentless Believe me, I know, (laughs) but they're not unbeatable. My path to self-love wasn't easy either. You know, I remember times when I doubt every choice I made, every step I took. But with time, reflection, and practice, I learned to drown out that negativity. I began asking myself, would I ever speak to a loved one with me? And the answer was always no. Overcoming self-doubt and criticism is a significant milestone on this journey, but it's just the start. True self-love is an act of kindness towards oneself, 
which encompasses acceptance of our strengths, our weaknesses, our past mistakes, and our victories. One method I've found especially helpful is a simple mirror exercise. And you've probably heard of these before, but I know I did this. I tried this. For a time, every morning I'd stand in front of a mirror, look into my eyes, and utter words of affirmation and love. Of course, at first it felt really strange, even uncomfortable. But over time, those words began to sink in. And the reflection that I saw started to shift. Now, additionally, self-love means setting boundaries. As I learned from the situation with the Reiki master and my web design business, it's recognizing that we deserve respect in professional settings and personal ones. It's understanding our worth and ensuring that others recognize it too. It's essential to remember that self-love is not selfish. It's self-preservation. When we are filled with love and respect for ourselves, we can give more to others, approach challenges with a clearer mind, and live authentically. As we wrap up this section here, I want you to think of one act of self-love you can commit to today. It can be as simple as taking a longer shower, reading a book for pleasure, or speaking kindly to yourself. And remember, every act, no matter how small, takes you a step closer on this journey to truly loving and embracing who you are. Now, before we move on, take a deep breath. Breathe in self-awareness. Breathe out self-doubt. Breathe in love. And breathe out criticism. And always remember, you are worthy of every drop of love you give to yourself. So I have another activity for you, and that's expressing gratitude for your own personal evolution. It's the anchor of our souls. So take a pause to thank your past self for the lessons, for the resilience. Maybe you'd like to create a timeline of growth drawing a horizontal line across even two pages in your journal, representing your life's timeline over the past five years, marking the milestones, both challenging and triumphant. And you can identify an attribute or a lesson it offered. Maybe a job loss led to discovering a hidden talent or passion. Maybe you want to decorate this <laughs> with stars and making this your badge of honor. So what strengths already within you were highlighted? Maybe a promotion at work showcased your dedication and hard work. So decorate it however you like. Maybe around these moments, draw rays of light emanating outward. And let these rays represent the positive impacts or ripple effects of these victories. Maybe your promotion inspired a colleague or brought added financial stability to your family. And then what you can do is you could take a moment to absorb this timeline. You, you're just not witnessing events. It's a tapestry of growth. It's a part of resilience and transformation all weave together. And celebrate this journey. Know that each step, whether it felt like a stumble or a leap, contributed to the incredible person you are today. So let's move into our guided meditation for today, the empowered self. Find a comfortable space, ensuring no distractions, choosing a seated or lying down position, and focusing on maintaining a relaxed posture. This is a special journey of empowerment and self-discovery. Close your eyes. 
Begin by drawing a deep, nourishing breath in through your nose. Feel the air fill every part of your lungs. And then exhale slowly through your mouth, visualizing any tension or stress leaving your body. Continue this deep rhythmic breathing, allowing a sense of calm to wash over you. Picture a soft golden light emanating from your heart center. This light is warm, reassuring, and filled with love. It represents your essence, your inner strength, and the empowered you. Let it gently envelop your entire being. Transport yourself to the base of a magnificent mountain. Its peak pierces the sky, representing the pinnacle of your personal strength and empowerment. At this moment, you are about to embark on a transformative journey up this mountain. And with each step you take, recall moments in your life where you showed resilience, determination, and strength. Let these memories fuel your ascent, making you feel lighter and more determined. As you climb, pause occasionally turning to see the world stretched out beneath you. Each pause represents moments of reflection and gratitude for how far you've come in life. Now find a resting spot on this journey up. And here, reminisce about the challenges you've overcome, acknowledging the lessons and strength gained. Each challenge has carved you into the empowered individual you are today. And now resume your ascent. Feel the wind, hear the birds, touch the ground beneath your feet. All these elements stand as reminders that you're a part of a vast interconnected world where you play a vital role. As you near the summit, the golden light from your heart becomes radiant, lighting up the mountain's peak. Here at the pinnacle, you're enveloped in an overwhelming sense of achievement and empowerment.
Take a moment atop this mountain. Revel in the feeling of empowerment, acknowledging your growth, strength, and the balance of serenity. Whisper to yourself, I am empowered. I am resilient. I trust my journey. Slowly, a cloud envelops the peak, gently lifting you off the mountain and transporting you back to the base. And as you descend, realize that this mountain is within you, accessible anytime you need to tap into your inner strength. Feel the ground beneath you once more and gradually draw your attention back to the present. Sense the room around you, slowly wiggling your fingers and toes, reorienting yourself to the here and now. Before opening your eyes, take a few deep breaths imprinting this feeling of empowerment onto your heart. When you're ready, gently open your eyes, carrying with you the strength, peace, and self-belief cultivated during this meditation. Let your empowered self shine brightly in every aspect of your life. So my friends, retain this beautiful synergy. Coach life's dance with renewed vigor. Our next theme will be Harvest of Self, Cultivating Inner Wisdom and Nourishment. But I want to share with you that if you'd like to engage in mindfulness coaching with me to nurture and amplify your resilience, I offer tools like meditation and breath work, fostering growth through challenges, and we can fortify your foundation so you can face life's challenges with grace and courage. Go to debphelps.com slash coaching. And be sure to explore our online studio, a sanctuary crafted just for you. Join our teachers for meditation and yoga. From restorative to yin yoga, there's something for everyone. And special sessions for moms and veterans too. Dive into transformative workshops, delving deep into various topics. And be sure to join our live Zoom Peaceful Wellness Podcast Circles every first and third Friday at 12 noon Central Time for enriching discussion on our month's themes and topics. I hope I see you there. And if you're certainly interested in more meditations, please go to the website, devphelps.com. So with all that said, until we meet again, my friends, Nurture this balance, embrace the dance, and radiate your empowered serenity. Love and blessings to you all. And as always, I wish you peace. Thank you for joining with me today. For my weekly classes, meditation and modalities on-demand library, self-study courses, and private sessions, visit my website at peacefulwellness.org.